So lots going on in the big time rush uh, the world, fit family. World. Yeah, yeah. Tell, so tell us, so you're kind of a crossroads, right? Like the show, had the the, plat, the tent pole shows kind of come to an end. Figure yeah, out the next know, steps. What's really interesting is that uh, when when we kind of got the word that like it's not official, but we're doing something. That's why they don't ever want to make it official because we're gonna make some sort of appearance on Nick still. Where I mean, it's a huge brand for Nickelodeon. It's the most successful music brand that they've ever had. Period. So like. They want to do something. We're just trying to figure out what that is, and also where we've scoured the United States on tour. We've toured everywhere you can tour in the United States, so we're gonna cover the places we haven't been. We just did two shows in Mexico that were collectively 30,000 people. Our headlining shows, and that was I mean a, a, an unreal experience. So we're gonna go back to South America because we know they have a lot of love for Big Time Rush. Um, and now the TV show's gone. We're just trying to figure out what the music side of it is, and I think. Sony and Columbia want to keep it together as a music brand and maybe do something like I was saying, like acoustic or something like that. You have your own project in the works as well? Heffron Drive. It actually was right when Heffron Drive... All right, so remember when MySpace was like, people were signing bands off of MySpace like all the time? We were making Heffron Drive music and it was really like starting to get like 10,000 plays a day. And right at that point, I booked Big Time Rush and it was like, just had to stop because I had to focus full attention. So now I actually get to go and like, it's like, you know, dive into that world again and writing for it. It's not like crazy, drastically different musically, but it's definitely more electro uh, alt than Big Time Rushes. It's more of a pop band, you know? So I get to kind of dive into worlds that I adore. Like I love EDM and I would love to even do a feature on like, Zed or a Skrillex song, like I really would love to lend my voice to that. So big night with NSYNC uh, reuniting tonight. What, what what's their uh, place in your heart? Uh, well, honestly, actually, Chris is a really good friend of ours, and and Joey came to our show in St. Augustine recently. His his kids are really big fans of our band, which is really weird, right? Right. I mean, like I see him and I go like, oh man, like I idolized you, and then now his kids idolize us and so it was really a sort of small world situation but I, I'm actually I want to see him tonight I'd like to say hi and uh, I think I'm gonna text Chris and hopefully you know we'll get to contact you know tonight